Well, good morning, Kid Nation. Happy Thursday to you. I'm glad you're able to join me this morning. Boy, it's cooling down a little bit. We're able to go outside and play a little bit. The air quality is still really, really bad and not healthy for people. So be really careful when you go outside. Um, probably best to stay inside on a few of these days while these fires can... I don't know if you guys have seen... Um, the images and the videos of the fires, it's really quite amazing um, that how big these fires have gotten and how much land they've burned. So we'll continue to pray for California and pray for our firefighters and everyone else that's involved in, in helping keep us safe from those things and pray that that air clears out because we could sure use some days uh, with some clean air. Well, we're still embarking on our journey into the New Testament and we've been talking about Mary and Joseph and and the birth of baby Jesus. Now, I like these scriptures because a lot of times in my family growing up, when we when we would talk about these scriptures, it was around Christmas time. And so these always remind me of kind of that time between Thanksgiving and Christmas, which is my favorite time uh, every year. So I enjoy reading these. So I'm going to go ahead and read this to you, and then we'll talk about it a little bit, and then we'll get on with our Thursday. This is called Gifts for the King. This is out of Matthew chapter 2. If you read all of Matthew chapter 2 already, you've already read this portion, but we'll talk about it anyway. After the wise men had gone to King Herod to find out about the newborn king, the star they had first seen in the east went on ahead of them. The wise men's discouragement turned to great joy when they saw the star leading them to Bethlehem and stop over the place where Jesus was. They came to the house and found the small child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They, then they opened their treasures and gave him gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. Later, God warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod to tell him about the child, so they returned to their country by another way. Why did the Magi give Jesus st such strange gifts? If you were looking for a suitable gift for a toddler, you would probably go to a toy store or perhaps a kitty section of a clothing store, but you can't really ask a baby what it would like. You would have to choose something that you thought that they would like. Let's see why the wise men's gifts were probably the best gifts they could have given to Jesus. Gold is fitting is a fitting gift for a king. Gold reminds us that Jesus is the king of kings. Incense was used in the temple. The sweet smell of incense reminds us that our prayers and worship are like a sweet smell to the Lord. And myrrh is a spice that was used when someone died. This might seem like the strangest gift of all, but it reminds us that Jesus came to earth to die for our sins. If you, re if you would like to give Jesus the very best gift, let him have all of you just as you are. So let me read our bonus scripture for the day, and then we'll talk about this for a minute. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. That's Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. So this is something rather interesting. One of the things that I have found interesting about the life of Jesus and the lives of other people is that certain stories and certain things in their in their life um, told gave us insight into other parts of their life so for with baby Jesus we if you if you've ever been around a baby babies don't do a whole lot of things and it's hard to know what they're good at yet you know some of um, you know some of us grow up and we're really good at let's say tennis but you would never know that a baby was going to be good at tennis. And so you wouldn't think, hey, let's get them a tennis racket. So a lot of times parents will buy and relatives will buy young kids, toddlers, buy them a wide variety of things. If it's a sports uh, like a ball, they might get them a little football and a volleyball and a basketball and a couple of different things. And then maybe kind of find out what they like. But it would be hard to know what they were going to be good at or what they liked. Because, again, you can't really ask a toddler that doesn't know how to talk yet what they want for their birthday. These men gave baby Jesus what seemed to be very strange gifts. Now, 
you'd probably be okay as a toddler getting a block of gold. Okay, that'd be awesome. Everyone would like to have a nice, you know, nice big block of gold because it's at least worth something, and then we can trade it for money or trade it for other things that we'd really like to have. But think about the incense. If you don't know what incense is, incense is a material that you light on fire, but it doesn't really burn. It more smokes, and so it lets off this uh, this uh, smoke that smells nice. And they have different, you know, uh, different types of incense smell different ways. And the Bible has used incense as a way to show how our prayer and how our worship reaches God, that it that it says that it rises up into heaven like incense. And so it's like we're, you know, there's a sweet aroma that God is smelling when we are praying or in worship. And so that was an appropriate uh, gift uh, for the King of Kings. Um, the myrrh also, the myrrh was something that they would use to um, uh, to, for lack of a better term, to treat a, a dead body. If someone had died, then they would wrap them in their burial cloths along with these spices and kind of things to kind of help, uh, you know, prepare their body for burial. And so that was appropriate for Jesus because we know that the the the, the most important reason that he came to the earth was to die for us. <clears throat> and that's amazing. So these gifts really kind of give us an insight um, in who did you, in who Jesus was going to be. So here's a question I want to ask you: If you were to get three presents right now that you think would kind of tell people who you are, what would those gifts be? And you can write those gifts right in the comments of this video, or you can text them to me, and maybe we'll share them in our next message. Anyway, that'll be that'll be really good. Well, you guys, I'm going to pray for you guys, and then we're going to get on with our Thursday. It's going to be an amazing day. Jesus, we love you. We're so grateful for you and the way that you came so humbly. You didn't come um, as a ruling king, but you came as a baby. Um, and just such an amazing, such an amazing story. And we're just really grateful for everything that you've done for us, Lord. I pray that you watch over each of our Kid Nation students today and that you keep them safe, Lord, that we're safe from a lot of the things that are in the air that would be not real healthy for us to breathe, but we'd be, that we would be protected from that. I'm just really grateful for that, Lord. We love you so much, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, I love you, Kid Nation. It was good starting our day together, and I hope to see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.